Hello and welcome to today's video as we go over the top 10 most accomplished active top laners in the four major regions of LOL Esports. That's a mouthful. This is based off of my Hall of Fame points that I used for the Discord um, yearly starting last year. Um, I did a Hall of Fame vote. Um, we did six players for every season up through season 12. And then after season 13 we did another vote. Um, players that are eligible have been retired for two years and were top 60 in my Hall of Fame points at the time. Um, the vote was, uh, you know, the ballot was created. Um, and these players are still active, so they're not eligible to be voted on. Um, in 10th place, we have Doran with 136 points for HLE, formerly of Gen G, amongst other teams. Flandre of JDG, world champion on EDG, uh, 151 points. Bwipo of FlyQuest, 177, played with Fnatic as well. Uh, TCL in the early parts of his career. Keep in mind, um, this includes his jungle season. Um, if you took that away, he probably would be um, around where BB is, if not um, possibly between BB and Flandre. And then we have a trio, 369 Zeus Bin. So these three players you could put in pretty much any order right now in LOL Esports as the three best top laners in the world, which I think is interesting that they end up here now Zeus has the world championship 369 and bin have msi championships and they all have very different um levels of accomplishments domestically and because they're both eastern regions i don't see a big argument for which one is superior and which one is more important or um you know accolade wise between winning an lck championship or an lpl championship um however um these are not updated through msi so once msi numbers are in um, I mean, 369 is going to fall below them because Zeus and Ben both played at MSI, and he didn't, and you get points for playing at MSI. So that's a thing. Um, but the, it is interesting that those three players are there. Um, the best in the world, all in their prime, um, and it, it's definitely something to behold. Now, the top three, I have their accomplishments here. Um, the Shy has 210 Hall of Fame points. He currently is teamless. Um, he is the exception on this list. Fudge also was an exception, and he only, I think he had 109. He played in Oceana before he came to the LCS, and people kind of forget that. Um, now, with the Shy, he's a world champion with IG. Had a runner-up finish with Weibo. Those two accomplishments are something to behold. Then, we have a uh, semi-final appearance at Worlds, a semi-final appearance at MSI. So, three, all three Worlds appearances... He at least got the semifinals. His MSI appearance, he was a semifinalist, so he gets things done internationally. Um, however, domestically, only one split championship and three regular season titles uh, under his belt. Um, so the shy, of course, I mean he's third, right? So when it comes, when when the vote occurs, when he retires many years from now, or who knows, he's teamless now. Um, he will probably be on the ballot, and he'll probably be a first ballot Hall of Famer, would be my guess. Um, after that, second place, you have Wonder with 217 points. Wonder's played a lot longer. He's had many more great finishes at Worlds. Longevity is a factor as well. Five LEC split championships. Four LEC regular season championships. An MSI title with G2. A runner-up at Worlds, two semi-final appearances at Worlds, five world appearances outright, and one MSI appearance, the one that he won. So Wonder, a great career, currently on Heretics. And, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, this is definitely the back half of his career, but he's still putting up points um, for, you know, most accomplished top leaders. He'll probably be first ballot as well um, when it comes to... Lastly, we have Impact. Um, this is going to shock some people, right? Because I have a, a line, a bar graph here. Not a bar graph. Uh, I guess a, was this? A, a, I guess it's a, it's not a line graph. I forget what they call it. Um, either way, it shows the gap here, right? So you have 215 is the halfway point between 290 and 135. Impact to Doran. Wonder and the Shy are kind of um, right around that halfway point. And you would say, but he played most of it, I mean, pretty much 80% of his career in the LCS. The LCS sucks, this, that, and the third. Impact's played a very long time. 
He deserves a lot of credit for doing that and playing at a high level doing that. I think a lot of anybody that watches league watches him and says, you know what, this guy can play weak side still at a very high level and could be a player. I could see him playing in, um, I don't know, I, I kind of hold back wanting to say he could play in the Eastern region and be a playoff uh, participant. Um, but weak side, I think he plays excellent. Um, and, and it comes through. And at international events, I feel like he does that job if he's given an opportunity to do so. Now, uh, in terms of uh, accolades, six LCS split championships, five LCS regular season titles, two champion titles, those champions titles, those are what the LCK was known as early on in LOL Esports before the LCK became a thing. He's won Worlds back in 2013. He also had a runner-up finish at MSI with Team Liquid, a semi-finalist appearance at MSI. He has went to Worlds seven times and MSI four times. So he's had a great career. And, I mean, this gap is, ma- is, is big. But, I mean... In all seriousness, both players have had stellar careers, and you could say Wonder was better than Impact or whatever, but the point is, Impact's played a long time. He's racked up the accolades. He has accomplished a lot, and Wonder has as well. His international appearances speak for themselves. The Shy, his international experiences uh, speak for themselves. At really, only three players in this top ten have not won an international event. And I think people believe that if you win an international event, you automatically appear on this list. There are players up here that weren't, I, I want to say there are champions that aren't on this list right now. Kingen, Kingen isn't up there, right? Um, an example there. But Bwipo, Broken Blade, and Doran haven't won a championship. Bwipo at least finished runner-up with Fnatic, if I recall. But Broken Blade has not. And neither has... Um, I mean, at Worlds, and Broken Blade hasn't at Worlds, and, and Doran hasn't either. Um, so that's a thing. Um, and Gen G finally win after Doran leaves, right? And Keen finally wins. Um, Keen, a lot of years with Afrika where he didn't get to an international event. I mean, I'm not saying Keen isn't a top 10 player in terms of skill, but in terms of accomplishments, I mean, there's no not many titles to have there, so... Um, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, like it. Subscribe to the channel for daily League of Legends content. Follow me on Twitter. Join the Discord. Become a YouTube supporter. And hope to see you again tomorrow.